Welcome to another look at Ludum Dare 38 games and the theme of Small World. In this batch, we start with Savannah, a game I've had my eye on for a few episodes now, but only just got round to actually filming it. It's a kind of like a survival thing, where you wander around eating as much as you can, drinking as much as you can, but if you get a lion or whatever the hell it is on your tail, you, get, you go into run mode, and then you've got a kind of like a rhythm action thing to do, where every time you move, if, you, if you're very crafty, you can go super fast by sort of like um, releasing and pressing the key when the white box at the bottom flashes. So let's actually try and put that in to practice. It's hard to explain. Uh, but there's also gophers and things to find, like totems to find on the map. Uh, so yeah, at the moment, if you, oh, God damn it. if you use your instinct, you can see where things are. At the moment at the bottom right is something useful to find, but all the other arrows indicate danger. So let's just currently walk around. You can only walk around normally, but you're, you're allowed to go into run mode by double tapping a direction when there's danger afoot. There we go, danger, go! When it flashes white, I can release and press the key and I'll go that much faster. Up. Oh, you if you, you can't keep on going in the same direction otherwise oh actually I have in this case it's been fine. You can't keep on going in the same direction because the cheater or whatever the hell it is might catch you up that way. So it's best to like keep on changing direction if you can. Uh, it's got to eat. I was actually drinking in this case. And drinking will get that back and go over to there. That field of piss over there which will actually restore the blue bar as well. So I'll be able to use more instinct. I mean, I can actually do the rhythm thing on that as well, but it depends how much time you've got. Okay, let's try instincting. And um, there's a couple of lions to my right, and the direction I'm going in has good things and bad things. So let's see if we can actually get to the totem. Now, apparently, if you get all the totems, that's a good thing. Possibly. That's what the game sort of indicates to you, uh, where we're going. Uh, still still kind of like southwest. Ah, oh, there it is. That's where it's leading me to, with a black arrow. Let's say hello. You get stronger. Find the rest to continue your path. Yes. All right. Where's the next one? Ah, also bottom left. Um, let's just have a little bit of a feed. Not really much to top up. You only really deplete these things when there's danger afoot. Oh, hello, birdies. Let's go and say hello to the birdies. Oh, no. No. Nah, quick. Oh, wasn't fast enough. I shouldn't have tried to run in the opposite direction. I should have tried to run laterally because they have quite a weird turn on them. Okay, so you can see how it works. Um, it's actually a rather clever game. There's not a huge amount to it, though. I'm um, just about surviving and everything. But it's really rather wonderful. I like the mechanic. And it, it'd be interesting to see if they developed this into something um, bigger and more, exp and more expansive in general. And because this is actually quite a lot of fun. And once you actually get the hang of the keys, there's sort of like the, um, the double taps and all that, it actually could provide to be quite an exciting challenge. Let's just try and actually get the attention of... Here we go. Right, let's try and, let's try and do a bit of an escape. Let's run circles around him. Oh, oh no, he's, he's, he's actually quite good at circles, as it turns out. Oh, and there we go. They do lose interest quite quickly. Oh, but there's another one. Quick. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. Oh, quick. That way. Even the slip. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Hubris. Run, lads. Oh no, he's, he's, he's doing well. Okay, let's go down there. Yes. 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 And we're fine. Phew. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Click to start. Dun, 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 dun. I'm this mate. Look at me. I'm off for a spin. Yes. Ha! -ha! <laughs> That's what I can do. Because I'm a good old lad. Well, technically, I'm not sure that was supposed to happen. But let's get going. Come on, lad. Over here. Right, let's chase these men's. Yes! Yes! Got you! Through here we go! <laughs> Down into the bowels of the... Oh, hello. There we go. <laughs> Strange old control system. You do... All the controls are basically using the left mouse click. So sometimes it's hard to actually get... There we go. Off we go. Holding down left now. But also, you have to tap left to do the raw. And kind of like... There's a... Yeah, you press it for a while to do a kind of bashy thing. So it's a little strange. But there's a lot of... Oh, here we go. It's windy tunnel time. Scream. Because he doesn't like windy tunnels. Come on, let's go kill something. Possibly some sort of Earth's core snake. Those bastards... Not that way! Oh, actually, I have to go this way. Oh, dear. I mean, I mean taken. I mean taken. There we go. Don't want to go the left and route, probably. Ah! Uh, right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are we going? What even am I? Some sort of weird... Maybe it's the, the monster from Savannah. Or one of the many. Maybe he's gone rogue. Maybe he's gone radioactive. Was that key? No, it's not. It's... Let's see how many people have been actually... The tonk. Yes! 
Oh my good god, what am I doing? I've, I've gone to pieces. Uh, actually, I'm not really doing much killing at all here, am I? <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Can we get through there? No, we can't. Oh, maybe actually this is sort of like a key. Well, what I, oh my god, what am I even doing now? Uh, I suspect there's a kind of like a puzzle where I have to dislodge something or press... Maybe press this? Look, I've definitely got to go down there. Hup! 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 Ha! Oh, maybe maybe those people are now going to press the buttons. Lad. Come on, press the press the open button. Oh, here we go! Ooh! I think I solved a puzzle. Uh, not by clicking at random. I promise. <laughs> the Den. Donata. Now there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. I appear to be at the banana bar with this um, luchador. He's a mate. Let's present her. What do we have to do here? I'm just waiting for him to finish his sig and then we can get on with things in Act 1, Antonio. Hello mate. What's under your hats? You haven't seen him in years. Press space to shoot? Oh dear. These lads have history. Pressing space to shoot. Oh! Oh! Uh, act 2, Luca! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! You better not. not uh, oh, space to run! Space to run! Space to run! Space to run! Fucking. Oh, I can turn! I can use the mouse! Uh. From all. So, uh, the left clicks. But you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was complaining about me using WASD or something. Uh. It can be ours, we can be big, while the world stays small. Just stay here. I just want to talk. Maybe get a glass of wine. Just stop pressing space. Don't you want to know how it feels taking up 30% of the world? We can share. Fine. Running won't save you, and I'll be the one. This is actually a very long comment. Oh! Act 3. Mateo. Person. Now he has the gun. You have 10 seconds to type in the missing pudding ingredient. He has a gun. A what? Milk. Uh, maybe that's it. Maybe it's after. Oh, the missing pudding ingredient was not milk. I should have known, I guess. Wait, what? Hang on. <laughs> oh, okay. What happens if he catches me then? Come on, Luca. Uh oh. <laughs> this is like a game, or is it a game? This is a game. And what happens if he catches me? Oh. Huh. I don't think I'm very good at this. Ooh, fancy meeting you here. So apparently this game is about social interaction and keep e keeping on talking with boring people about the things only they like. Uh, so tired. Right, bring it on. I've read through the instructions to this, but it's complicated as balls. Right, so we're at the supermarket. Oh my good god. Uh, okay, so she likes weather and job, and she dislikes food and relatives. So red things are bad. Don't you just love this place? I come here all the time. My firm is called something, something, and something. You've probably heard about us. <sighs> oh no. Um, right, click the red things. Click the red things because the red things were bad. Yes, I remember that from the instructions. I hate it when it's starry outside. That's me. For some reason, it's different to my normal voice. My coworker Claire told me this funny story about an afro. God damn it. Oh, what, what do I do here? Right, slap away the... Oh no, slap away the bad things. Oh, dicks. No, that was completely the wrong controls. <laughs> I I love meatloaf beer. That's me again. That's so unhealthy. Oh, woman. Who's he? Well, maybe that's her. Right, she's got she's got one smile on her. Is that good or bad? My, my boss fired Alison after that daughter scandal, you know. Right. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, there we go. I have to use the keys. Right. Ah, ah, ah. I think all the. I think these are all the bad things. Cause I think it's um the grey and the blue ones that she needs to talk about. This the needy old care. My glo my glo oh my god. Gloria told me this funny story about a loincloth. <sighs> what kind of work do you do? I'm the smug the, sm the smuggy boarhound business. There's no, too many people I know here. It's time to leave this shit town. A trip to London, sitting by myself in a nice English pub is just what I need. Jesus, this is actually right, like my life. Here we go. Bottle of Old Peculiar. And oh no. Derek Jason. An old acquaintance you met through your dominating hobby. 
Likes green things, dislikes everything else. Hello, don't you just love this place? I come here all the time. That's his voice now. I love to watch it. Oh, it's too hard, that. Right, here he goes. It's all about mini games. Um, hang on, what the hell did he... I've forgotten. Piss. I've forgotten what the... Hang on. He said if he can, cl he can click his name somehow. Oh, some <laughs> to find out. Oh, there we go. He likes green. Oh yes, he likes green things and he dislikes everything else. And so he's whining about his bloody pr lack of promotion. I'm pro circle but anti arcade, and that's why I vote for the blender party. Ah, oh, here we go. Right. So, no, that's. I'm actually that's. It's the green things I need to. Oh bollocks. Why? <laughs> God damn it. I read through the instructions twice. I'm still terrible. And finally, a puzzle game that's going to make me look stupid. It's Obelisk, very distinctive looking puzzler based around this 3x3 grid. I'm a mate, sometimes two mates apparently, and I've got to get to the world tile over here by swapping around the lit columns. So it's going to be a case of experimenting here, I think. Well, putting that back. So now, I also have control over him, yep, so I can actually move there. Um, you can't um, shuffle a tile when he's actually on it. So... Presumably, well, I, you can, you've got to make the bridges align. So, let's see. What can... That might be a thing? Yes! So I can get to the middle. And presumably I want a... That one looks good. I haven't done this one before. Ah, there we go. And that, I think that might be it. Uh, for level 2, fairly straightforward. Once you realise that you cut um, something... When you're walking on things, they don't light up. And that, that foxed me. Um, just before I started recording. And there we go. Unfortunately, the controls are very much like them. Um, um, when you press up, you go up left. Um, so it's that kind of like an um, old-fashioned head over heels isometric thing, which takes you about five hours to get your head round, if you're me. Oh no, it's, it's making things complicated. So apparently when they're... Hmm, I'm not sure how you actually... I think you have to turn these according to the instructions. It looks like I, it can be... It, it looks like I can rotate this. It seems to be connected to another chunk. Maybe pressing Q or E might activate it. Ah, there we go. Another turn? That looks more like it. And I can... Uh, oh, dicks. No. <laughs> go back. Back! Oh, I'm, I'm too far away now. There we go. Now, now we can go. All the way to the exit. Yes! Now, what fresh hell is this? Hey, look, my sister. I can control her by pressing tab. Aha, there we go. Right, so now there's two people. Everything's going to get infinitely more complex. Possibly as much as twice as complex. Right, okay. So we, we can turn the two dials that are big. Uh, okay, go down here. Round here. Onto a turny thing. Right, press tab. Now let's see if we can get this mate to have a bit of a stroll. Okay, you got to the end. Does that mean I can get to the end? My other guy? I don't actually even... Oh, piss. I've done that again. <laughs> go. Go. Oh, no, I can't, though. I can't get to the exit. Ah, right. Okay, because the... Because of the, um... The block... Oh, God damn it. Because of the blocky thing. Right. So I do actually have to use everything else. So presumably I have to take him to... Or her to there. And that can control that. And there we go. I am now, in theory, able to get both mates um, home to the globe. And we've done it. And we've done it. There we go. <laughs> uh. Oh, I don't know. All right, okay, we'll stop here. And this is a nice little thing, a nice clever little... It just looks, it just looks tremendous. Very, um, very individual and very pretty. Uh, okay, so thanks for watching. Um, yeah, do check out the rest of the playlist for loads more Ludum Dare 38 games. Uh, and do please check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel so we can continue to cover all the best indie games. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.